here on Whaley at 1st Street and 2nd Street. Tell us what you got going on. Yeah, drivers may have noticed that the lights here are bagged and that there is a new four-way stop at these two intersections. Again, Whaley and 1st and Whaley and 2nd. And that's because through a traffic analysis, we don't believe that the lights that were at this intersection are warranted. And so we're doing a 60 day test to make sure that it's safe. And if it is, we're going to convert these to four way stops like you've seen throughout a lot of downtown. Why has it been so, um, 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 I don't know, I'll use the right phrase in this. Um, yeah. Um, the, 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 the study, how has the study paid off for the city? Yeah, so we as a regular practice kind of do traffic analyses and um, intersection analysis. And so these were two that we happened to look at. There are actually nine points of uh, what determines if a light is necessary. And they didn't uh, reach that threshold on any of the nine different criteria. And so we believe it will be safe to transfer these down to four way stops. But we'll just make sure after about two months of testing it with these temporary signs. Now, last year you were down on uh, in, uh, what was it, Center Street where you had it at last year. There's a couple of spots on. Yeah, so drivers may remember we actually just did the same process just down the road where Whaley intersected with Center and Fredonia. Same type of thing, bag the lights, do the test, and then ultimately converted them into four-way stops. This is a, a common practice where we just determine what the correct and best traffic guidance for a particular intersection is. And so now we're doing it with these two down the street down the, uh, afterwards you were you able to see that it, uh, traffic was able to flow better instead of people having to wait at lights? Yeah, so uh, obviously the big issue is you don't want to be sitting at a red light for 30 seconds or a minute when no cars are coming in any direction. Now having a four-way stop means that every time you pull up to that intersection, you got to come to a stop before you go through. But most of the time you can go through immediately, so you save those long waits at an intersection where there's no other vehicles. Now uh, why do you stop sign instead of blinking lights? Uh, so uh, stop signs are just common practice uh, across the town and particularly in our downtown folks are used to having a four-way stop. It is also maybe worth knowing and it's it's a small savings but stop signs don't use power right and so each of these lights actually do take power that the city does pay so stop signs do save the residents some money. What are y'all hoping y'all accomplish from this study? Uh, you know just always looking to provide good traffic flow for our residents throughout our entire street surface. And this is just two intersections that hopefully we can slightly improve drivers days as they go to and from downtown. Now, when did this study start? Uh, we just bagged them last week. So if you count from there about 60 days, we're looking towards the end of the year when we'll actually kind of put the bow on the analysis and decide if we want to move these over to permanent four way stops. Mm -hmm. Uh, the thing I would say is it's a it's a test, right? So if there are drivers who use this path a lot and they have input like we'd love to hear from them. We're always open to hearing from our residents who are experiencing these roadways. And so if you have input, there's 60 days. Go ahead and let us know what you're experiencing as we test out this four way stop.